welcome to Let's Go Farming, a program that looks at all aspects of agriculture. My name is Mutin Tanyanga. Now today we'll be focusing on how to farm goats, guinea pigs and rabbits. We are here at Tolumba Garden and we'll be talking to Mr. Moape Walumba who is the subsistence farmer here. Stay tuned as we talk to him. <laughs> Welcome to Sami Fisheries, a home of variety. We found catfish, tilapia, fingerlings, poultry, and livestock. At Sami Fisheries, we work as a community in order to contribute to Zambia's food basket. Our produce markets beyond Livingston. We are found in Livingston at plot number 4993 slash 4994 off Mosotunia Road along Maramba River. For details, you can call us on 0977-786175 or 0978-033582 or email us at samsimango at hotmail.com. We are joined by Mr. Moape Walomba. Good afternoon, sir. Thank you for having us here. Good afternoon, Tinta. Okay. All right. Yeah. So you are a subsistence farmer in gods, guinea pigs, and rabbits. I'm actually a subsistence gardener. Oh, gardener. I run this garden. Okay. All right. So before we go any further, please can you tell us who is, give us a brief background about yourself. Uh, my name is Moape Walomba. I've been in Southern Province for 47 years, and I quit my home, and I've settled here permanently. Yes. I started uh, from 1971, when I was Young Farmers Club member, okay. and even chairman of at Chikola Secondary School. Mm -hmm. That's where I learned to do this thing. So when I retired, I resumed my hobbies. Okay. I started growing what I grow here, right. mainly for home use, okay. not for sale. So since we're looking at three items, so first let's start with goats. Yes. Yes. What does it take for one to become a goat farm, either a farm, a commercial farm or a subsistence? First, they're the easiest to keep mm -hmm. and they are quite resistant to diseases and they're easy to get okay. and even to to maintain. Okay. Yeah, they eat easily. Right. They eat the vegetation around here. Okay, so now let's draw in to you. When did you start farming the goats? Well, I've been retired 16 years ago, mm -hmm. and hardship forced me into it when we were running out of good relish, mm -hmm. natural feeds. Mm -hmm. And then uh, last year in May, especially after my wife passed away, I didn't have recreation. Mm -hmm. That's when I resumed to recall what I'd learned as a young farmer member, mm -hmm. and he started keeping goats. How many did you buy? You bought or you were given? I bought. I bought from Dumbo Central Market. I bought two okay. to start with. And now I have 22. So two male, females? One male, one female. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. All right. So within, uh, since I haven't come to May, mm -hmm. 23. So less in 11 months, I've had now got 22 of them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You, you said you bought one male, one female, yeah. so in readiness for them to, to reproduce, isn't mm -hmm. it? So how long does they it take here, for, they for one They were only here for three months and they, they dropped their kids, okay. their two kids. Okay. Yeah. And from there, mm -hmm. I was expecting every three months to, <laughs> as long as I fed them well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. And they started dropping kids. All right. Yeah. So the kids are born, so first let's concentrate on the kids. What do they eat? Milk. Milk from the mom and then... Uh, they, of course, also, they pick a lot of food around here, grass, grains, and stock feed. We have a lot of maize bran and uh, some flour cake. Okay. Yeah, and I buy some uh, stock feed for for rabbits. They, they eat that as well. Okay. Yeah, because in Livingston, we don't have stock feed specifically for goats. Okay. Although in Lusaka, they have, but here they don't. 
Right. So how many times do you feed them, either the kids or the bigger ones? Well, in the morning and uh, mm -hmm. around this time when we are locking them in. Okay. But generally the whole day they feed on vegetation. No wonder you said they are easy to keep. So even if you don't have food to give them, they feed it's on vegetation. It's open for them, they feed on vegetation. Mm -hmm. But these ones are controlled because, as you can see, have a fence around, so they don't go out to feed anywhere. Okay. So we bring in maize stocks from our garden, mm -hmm. and they will feed them. And then I usually bring in cabbage, cabbage leaves I buy from the market and bring them here. Okay. All right. So you have got 22 goats, you said. Yes. So how do you ensure that they are healthy? By feeding them regularly and the, the water is changed every day and the, uh, the, the sleeping rooms are always swept. And when I s notice that they are not active, I bring in the vet. Yeah. So I have noticed, Mr. Olumba, that your, your, your goats, they are fenced in. Mm -hmm. So maybe for someone out there, a, a farmer, a subsistence farm, especially who have goats and they are not fenced in their free range, what can you tell them on, on how to keep the goats Many is healthy? Many always uh, ensure that they are watching them open for them, give them food around the home mm -hmm. so that they don't even stray in other people's gardens. Mm -hmm. And then keep checking on the activity. If they became slow, it's an indication they're infected, mainly with worms. Okay. Because goats are quite uh, strong against diseases. Mm -hmm. And it's very rare that uh, they, they get infected. Okay. Yeah. So keep an eye on them that they don't stray in other people's and make sure they are fed around the home. That's what I can encourage them to do. And they feed on anything, vegetation especially. It's a question of uh, ensuring that there are leaf, green leaves around, mm -hmm. grass, they eat any grass. They even lawn, they are very good uh, lawn mowers. <laughs> Just let them on the lawn, they will eat it, as long as it is uh, legally watered. Okay. Yeah. All right, thank you so much. For now, we go on a break. We'll be right back. <laughs> Welcome to Sami Fisheries a home of variety. We found catfish, tilapia, fingerlings, poultry, and livestock. At Sami Fisheries, we work as a community in order to contribute to Zambia's food basket. Our produce markets beyond Livingston. We are found in Livingston at plot number 4993 slash 4994 off Mosotunya Road along Maramba River. For details, you can call us on 0977-78-6175 or 0978-033582 or email us at samsimango at hotmail.com. Welcome back. In case you have just joined us, you are watching Esco Farming and we are at Twalumba Garden where we're talking to Mr. Walumba who is a substance farmer. He, he farms goats, guinea pigs and rabbits. Mr. Walumba, before we went on a break, you are talking about how you, 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 you are encouraging a substance farmer there who um, hasn't fenced in their goats. So for here, it's fenced in. I can see there's uh, water ponds everywhere. What's the importance of yeah. doing this? They, I, there's water within the sleeping rooms. There's water around the, the paddock. And then uh, we make sure they are well watered. They too healthy. And then uh, we let them free range around. They eat the vegetation, the trees. Sometimes we even water the, the, the grass here for them to eat around. Okay. Yeah. We keep them within within the premises. Okay. Before we move on to the next item, which is uh, how to keep rabbits, maybe you can tell someone out there who's interested in keeping goats what they can do and what they can do. The easiest is, is uh, it's the easiest to keep. Mm -hmm. Goats are the easiest to keep. Mm -hmm. And all you do is, uh, like here in town, you can go straight to Dumba Central, they sell them there. That's why I got my first two. Okay. And then I started keeping them here. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. Anybody can try to keep goats. They are easiest to keep. Okay. Just make sure they don't stray in other people's gardens. All right. Somehow, each person can use their own strategy. Mm -hmm. I've used fencing as my strategy of keeping them within. Okay. Yeah. But even in a single small home, they can still maintain a fence around. Okay. Right, so if you're interested in keeping goats, he's saying they are the easiest to keep. You can go for it. When we come back, we're going to look at how to keep rabbits. Stay tuned. Welcome back. Before we went on a break, we are looking at how to keep goats. Now we have moved to the rabbits with Mr. Walumba. Mr. Walumba, the rabbits, uh, when did you start keeping them? Interest many came from, I wanted to keep the easiest animal to have around, mm -hmm. from goats to rabbits. Okay. So I diverted into keeping rabbits. Mm -hmm. Again, we, I went, got two from uh, Damba Central okay. and got two from Ngwenya. So those two meaning male and female? Yes. Okay. Two sets. Two females and two males. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, they have been growing all along. They are again another animal which is easy to, to have around. Okay. Yeah. They just take care of themselves as long as we feed them on vegetation. Mm -hmm. You know, grass, whatever is growing around. Mm -hmm. We give them water and they go on. Okay. Yeah. And for them, I haven't even had the, the vet comes here, doesn't even look at them. Okay. They say they are self caring. They are very, they are very, it's very rare to hear a rabbit is sick. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. All right. So but when it comes to, to, to the female giving birth, how many do they give birth? They are, I, I wouldn't say much, but I've, I've seen them dropping six, oh. six, four, six. Yeah. That's why suddenly, within less than a year, I've turned eight. Okay. Yeah. And we've been eating them. We have eaten them more than we have eaten the, the goats. goats. Yeah. <laughs> well, they're easy to roast, you know. Mm. And chisanyama. <laughs> Indeed, chisanyama. Yeah. Okay, so how do you separate wh when the, the, the mother is pregnant? Do you keep them together yeah, with we, the male? Well, or? Just uh, here, the one I'm keeping them here, don't even bother. I've just built a house mm -hmm. where they, there are two houses in there. They, with the rooms, they just choose where they go. Mm -hmm. I don't even go there. The next time I go there is just to change water and feed. Mm -hmm. The next time I go there is just to pick to eat. They look after themselves. They don't, they don't, they don't need anybody to be going there too many times. Okay. Yeah, they, they're easiest, much easier even than goats. Because goats come out, mm -hmm. but our rabbits are indoor. They remain indoor. As long as right. there's food. And as long as there's food and water, yeah. A lot of vegetation, a lot of grain, yeah. Uh, rabbits, again, they're the easiest to keep, and I've noticed of late that many people are quietly in their homes, they're keeping few rabbits. Mm. But here I've gone big, I've got about uh, more than almost 30. Mm -hmm. They're the easiest to keep because they feed themselves. Yes. All you do is give them water, vegetation, and you can buy feed if you want, commercial feed from tiger feeds, they mm -hmm. sell there. Mm -hmm. and then we bring them and put them in the house. Mm -hmm. And they drop the young ones just like... Uh, and plant the uh, uh, parenthood. Mm -hmm. They just drop, 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 and you keep counting the new ones. Yeah. yeah, they're the easiest to have around. They've got very good taste meat, mm -hmm. you know. We have to get into uh, eating uh, rabbits, mm -hmm. not only to depend on beef, pork, what. Yes. That's why I dive in myself, I do dive right into keeping rabbits. Mm -hmm. okay. Again, for domestic use. Okay. So do you have any plans in that they, they give birth one rabbit to give birth to six? Um, yeah. Yeah, so do you, do you plan on maybe going commercial since they are, they, they, they are a lot? Uh, not really. Uh, my main interest is to ensure food security for my family here mm -hmm. while we stay. And we are rarely visited, so we just eat and eat and eat. Yeah. But um, in case someone wants to force me to buy, maybe I can sell. Okay. Maybe. But I hear, I hear they sell nicely at some hotels. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very, uh, they go at 300 kwacha each. Okay. Yeah, so but I haven't, I, haven't, I haven't gone into that yet. Okay. Maybe when I become in need of money, I might go into that. 
At the moment, the money in, in need of nutrition. Mm -hmm. I want to eat. Okay. Chisanyama. Chisanyama. You know, they're very nice. You just put them on, the, remove the skin and put them and mm -hmm. roast them and eat. Okay. Straight from the fire. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and eat them. Yeah, fresh meat. yeah, fresh. Okay. That's what we need. We don't need to have meat from the fridges mm -hmm. because the fridge is also full of chemicals. Mm -hmm. To make, to, to freeze, it's a chemical. Mm -hmm. To avoid all those things, we need straight from the, the house put on the fire and eat natural, natural so, health okay. food. Okay. Yeah. Uh, any words of encouragement to someone who's watching or yes, who wants they to should become try to keep. They are the easiest to keep. All you need is to ensure they have got the room which has a strong found, uh, floor so that they don't dig in and escape. Oh, they can actually run away. They can actually go away. And most of the, my friends have heard that they, once they go out, the dogs keep them, eat them. Yeah, they have lost the rabbit. I, I gave some to my grandchildren in islands. Mm -hmm. They were eaten by dogs. Uh -oh. So you have to ensure that they are safe. They don't run out of the building where I keep them. Okay. Yeah. Right. They don't depend on fence wire. Mm -hmm. You have to have solid wall. Okay. Because fence wire, they will break away and go. Yeah. I see. They're talked like that. Yeah, yeah, sure. They dig out and sure. go. All right. Yeah. Okay, so now we go to the next item, which is guinea pigs, isn't it? Yeah, the mbila. Okay. Welcome to Sami Fisheries, a home of variety. We found catfish, tilapia, fingerlings, poultry, and livestock. At Sami Fisheries, we work as a community in order to contribute to Zambia's food basket. Our produce markets beyond Livingston. We are found in Livingston at plot number 4993 slash 4994 off Mosotunia Road along Maramba River. For details, you can call us on 0977 78 6175 or 0978 03 3582 or email us at samsimango at hotmail.com. back before we went on a break we are looking at how to keep rabbits now we are going to concentrate on the guinea pigs with mr warumba here so again explain to us what made you to keep guinea pigs what fancied me to keep guinea pigs the mbira is i i fancied these easterners i hear they love the delicacy of whatever no, i can't eat that so i wanted to eat create something which looks like mbeba okay. but uh, at least more more meaty, mm -hmm. because it's bigger than the rats they eat. Okay. And that enticed me into starting the, the, yeah. the mbila mm -hmm. business. Family like rabbits, mm -hmm. and they look like rabbits, but they also look like koswe mm -hmm. or mbeba, whatever they call it. Mm -hmm. But they are very delicious. Ooh, they're very delicious. I think Easterners, once they taste this, they will drop those uh, right. dead small rabbits. <laughs> they will start eating the, this colorful Again, pigs. I've seen their umbuya, so you can say anything to them. <laughs> yes, yes. And they just have to shift. But on a serious note, mm. they're very good meat. Okay. Yeah, just like chicken, you oh. know, much even better than chicken. The meat is compact okay. and tasty. Okay. Yeah. Both roasting and uh, if you do like um, boil them. Okay. Mm. All right. So if, even them, you got them from the same market where you got the rabbits? Yes, I got them from Dumbo Central. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So there are like a lot of people in the in the compound who keep them. So I went to the market, then people took me to the residences. Okay. That's why I got them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So even for them again, how do they give birth? They are the, again another breed which is very easy to keep mm -hmm. because all you need is feed them, give them cabbage leaves and other vegetation, water and grain, and then within there they just you just see babies coming out. I don't even go in there. Mm -hmm. Just see baby coming, and then I know they have reproduced in there. Okay. Yeah. All right. 
and they will produce easily and plenty. Mm -hmm. yeah, because we started with the two. Mm -hmm. I think there are even more than 30. Okay. We started everything last May. Okay. All right. Yeah. So uh, for them, what, what, what kind of diseases are uh, that they are prone to? Well, according to the vet, when it comes here, it doesn't even look there. They say they are self-sustaining. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It only comes for goats and pigs, but uh, for these rabbits, they say they are self-sustaining. As long as they are well fed, you change water every day, and then you put green leaves and cabbages, food, grain, whatever. They are happy. Okay. Mm. okay. Yeah. So then they don't run away like rabbits, because I remember you, you, you mentioned that rabbits, you need to, to guard you them. You can because see how, how much I've sealed there, and we buried the fence wire down, so that when they dig in, they find the fence wire down there. They don't, they haven't, we haven't lost out yet. We haven't experienced that, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. For those people suffering from cholesterol, okay. it has helped me to drop my cholesterol levels because of, I don't eat beef anymore. Mm -hmm. I just eat kalulu meat, mm -hmm. goat meat, and uh, mbila. Okay. Yeah, and other things I'm keeping here. Okay. Yeah. All right. So for a subsistence farm, I have got a lot of things that you keep. Yeah. Are you sure you don't want to go commercial at some point, Mr. Awalum? Unless I'm put into temptation, but I want to eat. I want to make sure I'm well fed myself. <laughs> yeah. But other people forced to come here. Mm. Yeah, we can come and buy if they wish. At my price. Okay. Not at their price. Okay. But the main interest is subsistence mm. to ensure food security in my kitchen. Okay. Encourage anybody else to try it locally, domestic. Mm -hmm. You know, to ensure domestic food security. You have to keep some of these things. You don't, there's no feed here. Okay. All you do is, the, even in Shima leftovers, you throw them there. Yeah. All the f leftovers from the kitchen, trash from the kitchen, as long as they're edible, mm -hmm. we bring them here okay. and they eat. All right. Yeah. Okay, so as, as, as we come to the end of the program, any last words to the viewers out there? I will encourage them that, uh, besides being a hobby, mm -hmm. you have to keep goats, mm -hmm. rabbits, mm -hmm. birra, and other things. We are traditionally used to keeping chickens, mm -hmm. but you have to keep these other things so that you have a variety of what you are eating. You can't just be eating chickens, chickens, chickens. I have chickens here, I don't even look at them. Mm -hmm. My delicacy is in Bila Festi, mm -hmm. in Kalulu, mm -hmm. in Goat, okay. in that order. All right. Appreciate for having us here and sharing your stories of uh, guinea pigs, rabbits, and goats. Thank you. I really appreciate your business. Hey, we are talking to Mr. Walumba at Twalumba Gardens. We are looking at how to keep goats, guinea pigs, and rabbits. He, he is a subsistence farmer. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye for now.